In this lesson, we're going to continue investigating quadratic functions in standard form. In the previous lesson, we looked at what standard form of a quadratic function was. Um, and we also looked at some definitions of different things. So definitions of vertex, axis of symmetry, x-intercepts, y-intercept, domain, and range. In this lesson, what we're going to do is use a table of values with a particular given function to graph a quadratic function and then to define its different characteristics or parts. So it says complete the table of values for the given quadratic functions. If you are my student and you have the study guide at any point in time you can pause this and try coming up with the table of values on your own and graphing the points. That would be more meaningful for you. <clears throat> but after we've done that we're going to graph the points and answer the questions from the graph. So the function we're going to investigate here is y is always equal to x squared. And I'm giving you the input values, and we are going to come up with the output values. So if y is always equal to x squared, then this y here is going to be x, which is negative 3 squared. And negative 3 squared is positive 9, negative 3 times negative 3. Uh, this would be negative 2 squared, which is positive 4. Negative 1 squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1, is positive 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So if I was to graph these points, maybe I'll highlight them in different colors, just so you can realize where they're coming from. So those four points right there, negative 3, 9 is this point right here. <clears throat> negative 2, 4 is this point right here. Negative 1, 1 is this point right here. 0, 0, so we can always use table of values, tables of values, to come up with what a particular function looks like. Just give your function input values or x values and determine the output or y values. So there is the function y is equal to x squared. Now the coordinates of the vertex, the vertex is this point right here <clears throat> and that's the point 0, 0. The direction of opening. Now because these the, this function is going to continue going up. We say that the direction of opening is that it's opening up. <clears throat> the equation of the axis of symmetry. Well, the axis of symmetry, as noted in the previous lesson, is always a vertical line that cuts the quadratic function through the vertex. It cuts it into its two symmetrical parts. So the, the equation of this particular axis of symmetry is x is equal to 0. And the two remaining characteristics, the domain. Uh, first of all, the domain. This function would move to the right forever. You could give it any input value uh, and to the left forever. So that means that your domain is all real numbers, or in other words, from negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, those are some ways that you could write it. And the range is all of the output values. So you'll see that the y values, the lowest value of your output is this number, 0. And, it's, and the function is everything above. <clears throat> zero. So the way that we write that is the range is everything greater than or equal to zero, or you could write it like this, from zero up to infinity. Let's just do one more table of values and investigate some other characteristics uh, using a function and a table of values. So here is our last function. So given the function y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x plus 3, I have given you the input values. So we're going to always, so y is equal to negative x squared plus 4x. In this case, x is negative 2 plus 3. So negative, and negative 2 squared is 4, minus 8 plus 3. So negative 4 minus 8 plus 3 is equivalent to negative 9. If we do negative 1, so negative x squared plus 4 x plus 3. So this would be negative, and one, negative 1 squared is 1, <clears throat> minus 4 plus 3, and negative 1 minus 4 plus 3 is negative 2. <clears throat> Next, if we substituted 0, we would have negative 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 3. So it would be negative 0 plus 0 plus 3. That would be 3. And if we continued this pattern, maybe I'll just do one more with you. This is negative 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 3. 1 squared is 1, so it's negative 1 plus 4 plus 3. And that's equivalent to 
6. If you continued this pattern, uh, what you would find is these would be your next points. So in graphing those points, and you can always pause the video and see if you can prove those points on your own, but if you were to graph these points, negative 2, negative 9 is right here. Uh, negative 1, negative 2 is right here. 0, 3 is right here. <clears throat> 1, 6 is right here. And then we have the remaining points. 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, 3, and 5, negative 2. Now in the next lesson, what you're going to find out is that quadratics are always symmetrical. So you can assume that there's a point symmetrical to this point over here. So it's actually going to be right here. You can assume that that's another point, which is a useful characteristic of quadratics. But here is our quadratic function. And we can name the parts. So the coordinates of the vertex, this vertex right here, is the point 2, 7. The direction of opening, since this function is continually going down, we say that this function opens down. The equation of the axis of symmetry is the vertical line through the vertex, so that's going to be x is equal to 2. Uh, the domain, this function will go to the right and to the left forever. It will take any input values <clears throat> and give you an output, so that would be all real numbers, or in other words, from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And finally, <clears throat> the range is all of the y values. So the top y value is the point 7. That's the maximum height, and it's everything below 7. So the way we could write that is y is less than or equal to 7, or in other words, it is from negative infinity up to 7. And that is the end of this lesson. If you're one of my students, what you're going to want to do is do the next question on your own and show it to me after you are done.